Welcome back. Here we go again. Um, I have now tuned the graphics settings a little to make it uh, easier on my hardware. Uh, you might see some changes in detail, but um, it should be much better for uh, Fluent Drive on the roads. So let's see if this is going to be better than um, the last clip. So now we're going to get away from uh, from Kassel to Osnabrück with yogurt. Mm -hmm. We better be there by breakfast I suppose. We got eight hours and it seems also my next rest stop is in 10 hours 55 minutes so I should be able to get there before I need to take a rest and if I should need to take a rest I'm gonna get in trouble because I, w I won't deliver the goods in time I'll explain more about that at the later stage because, because um, it will certainly gonna happen when I get my own company I will have to stop and rest I'm not going to drive around picking up all those question marks I mentioned I'm gonna just leave that and take it more randomly because I think we're gonna get enough jobs enough um, uh, possible employees, enough uh, possible trucks to drive anyway so I'm just gonna relax that. We just passed a hotel uh, that is useful for whenever we need to make a break and stop to sleep. I haven't pushed it as far as to fall asleep behind the wheel so I don't know what happens. Ah did that work? Yes, I was lucky with that one. I still see a little bit of lag here. I really wonder what makes it. Because I tuned down a lot of details. Well, it's not such a long drive this time either, so... It might be the fact that I'm recording in full size in fraps. I could perhaps have tried it in half size. So, but for the, for now, I just gotta live with it. This looks like the same way we came in when we approached Castle, and that makes sense because I think we're going halfway back to Duisburg before we're going north to Osnabrück. You can see that on the map. Yes, it's like I suspected. Halfway to Düsseldorf, I mean, and then north to Osn Osnabrück. Good weather this morning, afternoon I mean, it's afternoon, half past three. And I prefer to drive in sunlight. Night time is okay, but daylight is definitely best. Rain is horrible. It's really difficult to keep track of the road, but I guess it's a little bit like in real life, so that's good. Yes, there's the factory we passed when I commented about it in the last video. It's nice to see a road from different angles, isn't it? Hee <laughs> hee. Is that a 
Ford Focus, I think so. There have been people complaining about um, the graphics uh, in the game um, because they th say it might not be optimized um, uh, as good as it could. So I hope this perhaps also is something they can address in a future patch. The funny thing is that the game is is, is really small. The game is uh, when you download it, it's uh, 500, 500 megabytes. So it's um, impressive that they can put all of this into that small package. But they have, and uh, I think it means there could be could be some chances they can. Uh, can optimize the uh, stuff to make it even more fluid. It's a bit too laggy. As you see on the fields here, the graphics is on fairly low resolution now. Not many details. It's a pity, but as it stands at the moment, I think gotta live with that. But it seems my tuning I made didn't have too much effect. So I will, before the next clip, I will have an even closer look and see what I can do. Cloudy ahead, do we have rain coming? Mm -hmm. We don't want that. Nope, we don't want that. Watch out. There's a different way of braking. Uh, there's a kind of motor braking. I don't use that. Um, not even in the Alps. Uh, I've heard discussion on the forums about, or, or on the blog, about uh, it not being realistic either. So, uh, as I can handle very well with uh, normal braking and speeding, I just stick to that. And you can see now I will use the motor brake button B. You can hear it going going into function, but as I said, it's working nicely with the brakes, regular brakes actually, so I, I'll just stick to that. So here we're going to the right towards Osnabrück. Now the big thing is to avoid the sign by the road, because I have a tendency to pick them with me. little bit wide there. Whatever. Magdeburg and all for Kassel, Bremen, Osnabrück. So I'm changing into middle line because that is where I want to be for the next crossroad. Mercedes looked like <laughs> the weather is getting very very grey here so I sense there's some rain coming on it is here is raining so we better put on the wipers. So 
not so far, it's only one more hour to go here until we are in Osnabrück. You can probably see it on my handling also. I'm not very confident at all when it starts raining. It's confusing. But that is, as I said, very similar to real life. Driving in heavy rain can be quite demanding. If you go too high speed into some of those, even on the autobahn, if you go too high speed into some of those turns, uh, you can actually tilt the truck. I've done that on a few occasions. Uh, one time it went really bad, the other time it, well, I saved it, but it wasn't good. <laughs> so, better be careful in the turns. Oh, they want me to have the headlights on. I see. Okay. I don't think it was that dark. So they all got fined. That didn't take long. Oops. Another mistake. I was in the wrong line. Again. Rain is really messing up my day. Now I change line to the right line because we're taking off the next crossroad. Careful, careful. Rain is quite noisy. So it must be heavy rain. Quite heavy. Here we go. You can see on, on the route advice just outside it now, sadly, I didn't see it early enough. There was one uh, transportation company, red lights, brake, up this road to the left was one of the transportation companies where I can get a job. So it might be that when I take my next, next job, I will start off out there. I will see if I can make that happen. It's about choosing the right company. I think it was Acrest that was up there. so horrible driving in the rain. Ostabuk, here we come. Now we see the question mark when I pass it. Ostabuk discovered and then ping, you discovered a truck dealer. That's good. Not that it matters much though. But Not for now at least. We're not gonna buy a truck yet. I think I'll go safe here, yeah, and break for the red light. behind that. I made it. Can be slightly get difficult at times. Now we're gonna go around this corner too before we can go 
going to the company's parking space. Here we are. There we are. Job's done. Excellent job. And I got proficiency bonus. Uh, that is because, as far as I know, it's because I delivered it um, on time. I think. But I'm actually not quite, I'm not actually 100% sure. I think it's about uh, timely deliver, but uh, I'll find out about that later. We'll see it in future video clips. So... I'm I'm I, I'm going to come back to that um, that uh, subject. So we're done. Purchase truck. Well, there was some emails for me. Yes, three emails. Drivers with own equipment needed. Okay, I'm not going to read this letter. It's just about someone wants a truck driver with their own truck. Uh, I don't got that yet, but here they say we can loan money. I won't do that either because I don't want to take out loans. They take interest and that is not in my interest. So we're going to stay away from loans. Uh, I could do it just to test, but uh, from the start I won't do it. Because you may end up uh, struggling to pay your pay your Pay your, what's it, what's it called again? Uh, pay, down payment, yep. And there we have brand new Majestic truck for sale. A majestic truck, it's quite interesting. I don't think that is Majestic. If you see in the background, you see the star. Well, it's not the correct star. I think Majestic is probably uh, the unlicensed Mercedes. But uh, we'll see, perhaps this game is going so well that Mercedes will uh, l let them get the license and use the proper symbol. But for now we're dealing with majestic trucks. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm not a truck fanatic, so um, I can fairly well live with uh, f fantasy uh, fancy names on cars. It doesn't matter that much. So anyway, they want us to come and visit the showroom in Stuttgart to get a new truck. But as I don't want to have a loan, I won't get a truck yet because I need more money. Uh, at the moment I have 9,656 euros. I would very quickly get more because you get better and better jobs, you get longer and longer drives and that means you earn more and more money and um, you will also gain more as you level up so uh, I will wait to wait with buying a truck until I got at least 100,000 so I can afford a new truck uh, so that I that is it for this time I think oh wait we should also visit the job market to get a new job so then we're in Osnabrück. Let's see where we can go from there. To Amsterdam. To Amsterdam. To Amsterdam. Okay. To Groningen. North in Holland. Uh, to Köln. I think Groningen sounds good. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. We can also take a local transport, Osnabrück, Osnabrück. Okay. Uh, and I th also think Eacres was the place outside the town where we will start the next mission in the, on the, in the countryside. So we get to see that too, how that works. And it seems it's the only job they got. So we go, we're going for Eacres. E acres, and we're going to deliver dry milk to Groningen. Take the job. 
And this was all for me now. I think this was my first video. Still struggling a bit with the graphics, but um, in the next video I will see what I can do about that. So, thanks for now, and see you all next time.